the leader of the best defense in the NBA, making opposing players second-guess themselves with every drive to the rim, or as we like to call, forces a lot of never-minds at the rim. Bringing Timberwolves fans to their feet with every defensive stop as target center blares, are you not entertained? Two summers ago, we stood in this very spot welcoming a new face to an emerging franchise. Rudy Gobert was introduced here in the Target Center atrium as the newest member of the Minnesota Timberwolves. After one of the most dominant defensive seasons leading one of the most elite defenses in NBA history, today we're excited to celebrate Rudy Gobert being named the 2023-24 Kia NBA Defensive Player of the Year. This is Rudy's fourth career NBA Defensive Player of the Year honor, tying the NBA record, becoming the third player in NBA history to win the award four times, joining Dikembe Mutombo and Ben Wallace. Gobert is the first player in Timberwolves history to win the Defensive Player of the Year award honor. Anchored by Gobert's top defensive rating in the NBA, the Timberwolves finished the season with the top ranked defense in the league. After ending last season with a defensive rating of 113.1, they finished 10th a season ago, the gap between the Wolves' defense and the second-ranked Boston Celtics' defense this season is the equivalent to the gap between the second-ranked and the 10th-ranked team in defensive rating this season. Minnesota finished the year with a net rating of 6.3, good for third in the NBA, and the best net rating in franchise history. Teams took 6.4% less shots at the rim when Gobert was on the floor this year and shot 6.6% worse at the rim when he played. Pure defensive domination. To tip off today's press conference, we'll start with a few words from Timberwolves President of Basketball Operations, Tim Connolly, and then Rudy Gobert, and after that, we will open it up for questions from the media. Tim? I just want to congrats, Rudy, not just obviously on the Defense player of the year, but more importantly, becoming a father. Um, nothing cooler. Um, you know, beautiful baby boy. So congrats on that. Um, yeah. 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 Be, uh, the most disciplined eater of ever, any kid ever. Um, but you know, when an award like this, obviously it's an individual award, but it's only made possible with team success. Uh, it's reflective of a wonderful coaching staff, wonderful organization, and a lot of great people around Rudy. Um, he's got a great staff. I think Nandez is here, who does a wonderful job. Obviously, uh, Boone and Jeremy, the representation. But um, you, these awards don't go to teams that are struggling. So uh, beyond the well-deserved recognition, I think it's recognition of, of the success our team's having and hopefully we continue to have on Friday night. So congrats on both things. Um, and just we're lucky to have you here and look forward to having you back on the court on Friday. And Rudy, just we'll start with you on just your thoughts on, on what this award. It's been a wild couple days for you, but what are just your emotions right now? Uh, just really grateful. You know, obviously it's been a crazy 48 hours. I'm um, trying to realize everything that's happening, but uh, at the same time, I'm so focused on what we, what we are doing right now that, uh, yeah, it's kind of like I'm enjoying every day as it comes. But, uh, yeah, a lot of gratitude. You know, it's been a... It's been the process, obviously. Thank you, team, for believing in me, you know, bringing me in two years ago and uh, with the challenge in mind, you know, is try to bring championship here. And, uh, you know, last year was a year with a lot of ups and downs, but we, we kept fighting, you know, we kept getting better every single day through adversity. And, uh, and this year, you know, we, we sat in training camp and we say, who, who do we want to be? And, uh, Everyone said we want to be a defensive team, so we we said, okay, we're going to hold each other accountable and do that every day, and uh, and we did, you know, from the coaching staff, from every single guy in this locker room, uh, you know, we everyone came every day with that mindset and put the work. And for me, you know, and uh, like Tim said, it's uh, it's always a team award, you know, it's uh, it's it's about being the best defense that you can be, and for me, it's about impacting my team to be the best defense they can be and uh and uh, i wouldn't be able to do it with without coaching staff players uh my family and all the people around me so really grateful for that all right we're going to open it up for questions right now 
JK. Rudy. Rudy, uh, what, when you look at your very short list of people to win four of these, how do you kind of look at yourself in the, in the larger landscape of the league as a whole, going back years and going forward years and where you fit in that, especially with, a, with an accomplishment like this? I mean, it's um, obviously two, two legends that are, that are here. So, um, yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. Um, you know, when I, when I won my first one, I remember telling myself that um, uh, I was hoping to win a lot of those. And, uh, and, uh, and every time I win it, I, I tell myself that I want to win it again. You know, and uh, it's kind of became part of who I am as a player, who I strive to be every day, you know, being the best version of myself, uh, but also being the best defensive player in the world uh, every time I step on the court. So uh, it's, um, yeah, it's an honor. You know, it's, uh, it's a big honor. And uh, once again, it's uh, maybe I don't realize everything yet uh, because I'm so focused on trying to bring this championship and focused on the moment. But it's, uh, you know, at the end of my career, when I sit back and, and, and look back, it's going to be uh, hopefully, yeah, a lot of uh, amazing memories and, uh, and a lot of trophies. This is also where you were held your introductory press conference. Um, and when you think about how far things have come from that day to this, what stands out the most to you right now as you kind of reflect on that? I think we, obviously, we, we in the middle of trying to accomplish something bigger. But uh, more importantly, I think I found a home. You know, I found a, um, a team, a coaching staff, an organization, a city that embraced me and, uh, and, uh, and a group you know that that embraced me and uh you know and now i'm yeah i feel like i have a it's like a family you know we are there for each other we all really care about one another you know we all want to see each other shine uh we all you know want to see each other um uh, prosper you know whether it's family whether it's everything or, uh outside of basketball so it's uh yeah, it's a lot of love and uh you know and it's it's really fun, you know, to be a part of something like this, you know, when everyone is um, is on the same page and everyone is trying to give everything they have to, to towards one goal. And, and it's, you know, it's something that I've always dreamed of. And I'm, every day when I wake up, I'm, you know, I'm really grateful to be able to be a part of something like this. Uh, Jim Suhan, Star to be and Rudy. Uh, first question, where do you keep your trophies? Uh, so the... Th the three, of, the three other trophies are in Utah right now. Uh, so they're in my trophy room. This one, we, we, we'll see where we put it. But uh, yeah, I, I have everything there for now. And what was it like for you to watch this team excel defensively even when you weren't there? It was incredible. Uh, you know, I was talking with some of the guys and, you know, like it, Watching the game, you know, I was exhausted, obviously, watching the game, holding the baby <laughs> and watching the game at the same time. But uh, I had a, a little bit of emotions at the end because, you know, it felt like there was something special. And the, I mean, the energy that they put in, the focus that they had, the, de the determination, the, I don't know, there was something special with the way they, they came out. And not just the way they came out, the way they played for 48 minutes that night, you know, and it's... Yeah, it, it was an incredible day. It was an incredible way to end the day for me and, uh, and obviously for the whole organization. Rudy, in, in what ways is the guy who won the fourth Defensive Player of the Year trophy better than the guy who won the first three? Uh, I think I strive every day to, to be better than I was the day before, whether it's uh, as a man, uh, but also as a player. And, uh, you know, I think I've... The league has evolved so much, you know, since uh, since I got there, uh, which wasn't too long ago, just 11 years ago. But um, you know, the level of talent and the level of um, the evolution of the game is just never stops. You know, so obviously I had to uh, adapt myself, you know, over the years to to the game, and uh, and I've always, you know, uh, kind of like embraced those challenges to to. Um, get better at guarding all kinds of situations and be able to do it consistently. And I think this year, where I really feel like I've grown, obviously, is uh, I think uh, leadership, you know, being able to um, 
lead my teammates even better you know be able to communicate better with them uh and uh, and have a, an amazing about um amount of understanding between each other and um i really feel like it's carried over you know on the floor and uh it's carried over on defensive success as a team Obviously, those adaptations, obviously the voting was done before the playoffs, but do you feel like those adaptations have kind of taken center stage in the playoffs now or everybody outside of even, even Minnesota kind of has really seen the strides that you've taken? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about that, you know, um, and I don't really care about that, to be honest. Right now, like, all I care about is my, my teammates and try to accomplish our goal and, and try to do something that's never been done before here. Um, so it's um, eventually, you know, eventually people will... Uh, when it's all set it down, people will be able to to realize or appreciate things. But right now, I'm just trying to embrace the moment and be the best version of myself every day. And uh, you know, and I'm having a lot of fun, you know, with these guys and try to accomplish our goal. Rudy, was there a moment maybe during this season, early in the season, whatever it may be, a game or a series of games where you said to yourself, "Hey, this defense is coming together the the way that." you wanted it to and that it could be really be something special for sure i mean I, I had some of these moments last year even though we obviously last year we didn't have the success that we had this year but i really realized last year that we could be something special as a team defensively and something unique uh but this year i think probably uh probably the boston game the first home game when i really uh you know playing some of the best players in the world and, and seeing how these guys were guarding, you know, uh, Mike, Ant, Jaden, everyone, and Kat too, like ev the way, like the mindset that we had uh, that day as a team, um, I told myself, yeah, we, c we can do something special. And uh, now it's going to be about consistency. It's going to be about sustaining that mindset for uh 82 game season and also carry it over on the play onto the playoffs. But, um, yeah, I felt like we we had a chance to be the best uh, defense in the league and one of the best defense we've ever seen. Ahmad Hicks, Fox 9. Rudy, when you look at all the members from the organization up here, all your teammates and coaches in the first couple of roles, what have they meant to your growth and development as a basketball player and as a man? I mean, it meant everything. You know, uh, from day one, I felt that I felt some love uh, from everyone in this organization embracing me, you know, uh, and when things didn't go as smooth as we wanted them to go last year, um, they never doubted me. You know, they kept, you know, uh, yeah, showing me love every day, uh, you know, pushing me to be better every day. And, um, and um, you know, I really uh, appreciate that. You know, I think it's, like I said, it's always bigger than basketball, you know, uh, from team to the ownership to, to every, every single person in the coaching staff, you know, they... Yeah, there's been um, yeah always a level of communication, a level of, of respect, and um, and uh, and yeah, some love at the end of the day, you know. And uh, those things really uh, yeah push me to to um, be the best version of myself. And, and you know, and this summer I was obviously um, yeah a little uh, I was I was excited in a way. I was excited of how we overcame adversity as a team. You know, last year making it to the playoffs. Uh, through the injury, through the ups and down, and um, and also uh, competing in the playoffs, you know, despite all the injuries, like I, re I was really proud of our group, and um, and this year, this summer, I, I had only one thing in mind, and I think every every guy can 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 agree to that. We wanted to come back better individually, collectively, and uh, and and we did, you know, and with one goal in mind, you know, just to win a championship, which is uh, something that we. We are striving to to accomplish. Well, the Wolves are six and zero in the postseason. New father, four-time Defensive Player of the Year, future Hall of Famer. Let's hear it one more time for Rudy Gobert. <laughs> we are going to uh, invite photographers up for a uh, photo op. Rudy Gobert, Tim Connolly, and his teammates. And I want to thank everybody for coming out to today's thank press you. conference. Are you not entertained? Hey, hey, hey.